Hello and welcome to Kananga Research. My name is Sarah Lim. Today we will be highlighting the impact of Budget 2017 announcements on the property sector. Budget 2017 emphasis was mainly on social housing initiatives to address the B40 income segment of the population. The B40 income segment makes up 40% of households whose monthly income is no more than RM3900, uh, which has recorded faster growth than other income groups. However, it is slightly disappointing for private developers because there were market expectations of more general first-time home buyer measures like the higher EPF account to allocation for first home buyers and easing of banking sector policies. There were some negative surprises including the increase of stamp duty from 3% to 4% for properties priced above RM1 million per unit, which is only effective on 1st January 2018. It may help developers clear inventory, but we do not expect sales to surge or developers to ramp up launches for this segment as the segment has already been weakened by difficulties in securing bank financing. We were a bit disappointed that there were no mentions of infrastructure projects like Malaysian Vision Valley, whose direct beneficiaries are Sign and Matrix. Note that post-budget 2017 announcement, we had downgraded Matrix to market perform from outperform while maintaining our target price. This was because share price rallied closer to our target price and there was an absence of catalytic news flow from Budget 2017. As mentioned earlier, the next sentiment booster for the sector is the potential OPR cut of 25 bips in November 2016. But again, this will at best help developers to maintain our current sales targets and market share. We had highlighted earlier that if expectations of Budget 2017 does not materialise, which includes the higher allocation of EPF account too and the easing of banking measures, there may be some profit-taking as developer share prices had run ahead of budget announcement. However, market expectations of the rate cut may potentially keep property stocks buoyant momentarily. The odds has increased in terms of developers missing targets for this year and guiding for more conservative ones next year given the absence of goodies for private developers amidst an already challenging landscape. With opaque visibility for 2017, developers are finding it tough to give us an outlook for 2017. We hope to gain further clarity from them during the upcoming November reporting season. For now, we maintain neutral on developers pending outlook on 2017. The property sector may be seeing new norms at the moment and things are expected to move sideways for the meantime. Beyond affordability and lending liquidity, another sector indicated to look out for is an increase in land banking by private developers, which will be indicative of stronger future demand. I'm Sarah Lim. That is all we have for this segment. Till next time, have a good day.